Good morning, everyone. I have something here I thought some people might be interested in seeing. This is an electronic battleship game. I know everybody probably has heard of the game Battleship. The original version was just two grids and a little folding case. You each had one. Uh, this one came out in 1977 and it added some sounds and uh, a light to the to the game. Uh, later they came out with an electronic talking battleship game which is this one is sort of in between the manual and the fancy one. Anyway I was looking through some closets the other day as people are often want to do. I didn't find what I was looking for but I did find this game. I haven't played this game probably in 20 years. It had a lot of dust. I tried to clean it off as best I could. It was in pretty bad shape. I just wanted to see if the damn thing still worked. And I put in some batteries, cleaned it up. This game takes, believe it or not, takes two 9-volt batteries. It's a lot of juice. It was also kind of expensive to play if you're just a little kid. I had this game, I think, in 1978. I'm not sure if it was the first year it was out, but it's within the first or second year. Uh, basically, I think everybody knows how to play Battleship Basically, you put your ships down. You're given five different ships of various sizes. And you put them all out on a grid, thusly. And then your opponent tries to guess where your ship's at by calling out numbers on this grid. The grid is numbered 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, all the way to 10. And down the side, kind of like a map, basically or a, a battleship grid, which is what it's supposed to be. And the object is your opponent, if he sinks all your ships before you sink all his, he's the winner. Pretty straightforward. You get a bunch of white pegs. These are to put in your grid on top here. If you get a miss, and the red pegs you put in your grid if you get a hit. That way you can keep track of where his ships are. When the game is finished, you'll have red pegs exactly corresponding to where his ships are. Now basically this game is, since it's an electronic game, it's a pretty primitive electronic game, you essentially have to program this co little computer before you play the game. And how you do that, first you turn it on, there's a white button right here, you hear it makes a little noise. Okay cat, I don't need your help, thank you very much. But basically on the other side there's a corresponding white button but this one says load or go. So before you play the game, you've got to set up your ships. You want to switch that to load. Now, to program the game, wherever you put your ships, you have to program in. Let's say I have this ship, which is at coordinates B1 and B2. I have to move this to B, press it. You'll hear a sound. And the top one to 2 press it and you'll hear a sound then you hit fire. Now that means this location is programmed into I'll do the second one which is B1 now the second time you press a button which is at the same coordinates it won't make a sound but you just have to hope that it's being programmed. Okay so when you get all your ships programmed in it's kind of a time consuming process but I guess you know when you're a kid you don't care so when you're ready to go all you have are your ships programmed in then you switch this to go. Now I'm the opponent let's say I want to make a hit so I, I cheat and I peek at see where your ship is. Your ship was at B1 and 2. So let's see what happens if I try that. B1 and fire. That's what happens when you get a hit. When you get a miss, it'll do nothing. And this, this game also sort of keeps track of the number of hits you get. So when you get a number of hits corresponding to all the spots in here, it'll kind of give you a klaxon, rah, rah, which means we have a winner. Uh, each person gets these pegs. You get a lot more white ones because, of course, you have a lot more misses. The object of the game, of course, is to 
sink all your opponent's ships before he sinks yours. It's usually pretty close. Um, there's some strategy you can use, I guess. But I just wanted to see if this game even worked. I mean, what's the point of holding on to something that doesn't work? And it works out that it's just fine. I put the new batteries in and it seems to seems to work just fine. I'm not trying to sell this. That's not the point of putting it on here. I just thought some people would like to see what early games like this looked like. Because like I said, this is probably came out in 78. So it's pretty old. And it's still still working. I just... I just need to find someone to play with me, that's all. Um, by the way, I have a couple more games here that I may, I may show off. I found these when I found the Battleship game. This is an early uh, handheld Pac-Man game. Um, I think this was around 1980, perhaps. Um, and this still also works. And it was really quite fun for the time. I don't know how much fun people today would... They'd probably think it was rather clunky, which for the time, you know, it was kind of advanced. And I played this a lot, and it still works perfectly. And then I have another one. This is, I think, from 1978. It's a handheld pinball game called Wildfire. This was a pretty fun game, too. Basically, you got your flippers here. I'll, I may give you a, a demonstration of this, because this game still works also. And I have another one, which I haven't quite come up with. It's called Merlin. Um, some of you probably have heard about it. Here's some extra pegs. So these things, if you have this game around your house long enough, you'll be finding these pegs everywhere for years to come. But hopefully you'll have enough to finish the game. So anyway, I just wanted to let you see Electronic Battleship, circa 1977-78. Uh, Thank you.